Hiya, welcome back to In the Kitchen with Tabby. Guys, on the menu today is an Italian zucchini crescent pie. Now I got this recipe from a sweet follower, Rhonda Abbott. She happens to work at the Purdue Extension office here in the same town I live in. And so we get their newsletter and this recipe was featured in the newsletter this month. So I messaged her and asked her if I could share it. And she said, absolutely. So we made just a couple little changes to it. Nothing major, nothing that's gonna affect the flavor for sure. It's absolutely delicious and you guys are gonna love it. Fun to put together, just like always. Let's get cooking. All right, friends, let's get this Italian zucchini crescent pie put together. Now I'm doing just a couple of things different than what Rhonda did. Um, I'm not using a 10 inch pie crust pan. I'm using this little, it's probably an eight by 11, maybe something like that pan. And I am using a crescent sheet instead of, let me do it this way so you can see it. I'm using a crescent sheet instead of the crescent rolls. So I think this might be a little bit easier and you could probably put this in a 10 inch pie pan also. I'm just gonna use it in this little dish today. So, and then the other thing I'm doing differently is of course I'm using my BT leaves because it's got the salt, the pepper, the garlic powder, all that good stuff in it. So I'm just using that in addition to the other seasonings that she um, suggested. All right, and the third thing I'm doing differently, instead of using a can of mushrooms, I'm using an eight ounce package of fresh baby bellas, they call them, little baby portobello mushrooms, because I thought that might be good in there rather than using the canned mushrooms. All right, so let's get started. So we have four cups of thinly sliced zucchini. I just washed it, cut the ends off, and sliced it really thin. So we're gonna put that into our pan, and in our pan, we have about a quarter of a cup of uh, butter, melted butter. So we're gonna put that in there. And I'm going to go ahead and add the mushrooms to it as well. And let that all cook for about 10 minutes. And while that's cooking, we're going to do a couple other things here. So I'm just going to spread that out. I've got my eye set on four and a half. So just, um, I guess it would be medium low. And I'm going to let those sit and just get to know each other and cook a little bit. And I am going to go ahead and put my BT leaves on there and I'm just gonna do about a teaspoon or so, a little bit of a heaping teaspoon on there. And then the other seasonings will go in a little bit later. So right now we're just doing the BT leaves. Oops, missed the zucchini, missed him. Okay, there's the zucchini and the mushrooms. Now we're gonna take two eggs Gonna break those into the same bowl that I had my zucchini in. And I am using duck eggs in this recipe. I don't think it's gonna make any difference, but I have an abundance of duck eggs right now, so that's what I'm gonna use for this. So we're just gonna give those a good little mix with my fork. And then we're gonna go ahead and press our crescent sheet into our pan. Let me turn that just a little bit, there we go. And she said to do it in an ungreased pan, so that's what I'm doing, ungreased. We're just gonna spread this up the sides of the pan. Just kind of stretch it out and manipulate it a little bit to come up the sides of that pan. All right, there you go. I've got it all pressed in there. I was careful to get all those air bubbles out from underneath it. You don't need to poke any holes in it or anything. You're just gonna leave it just like that. And I'm gonna leave it rustic around the edge. I'm not gonna try to do anything fancy with it. I think this, to me, an Italian zucchini pie seems like it should be a little bit rustic. So we're gonna leave it just like that. All right, let's check our mushrooms and our zucchini. Oh yeah, those are looking good. So we're supposed to let them cook for about 10 minutes. So they've got about six minutes left. All right, so when these are fully cooked and ready to go on to the next step, I'll come back and we'll do it together. Hang tight. All right, guys, 
I wish you were here right now. The smell of this is absolutely amazing. The mushrooms with the zucchini. I'm gonna turn the camera down so you can see a little bit better what's going on in this pan. Hang on one second. So you can see some of those zucchini have gotten a little toasted on the bottom. So I've just been turning them over. There's another one, nice and toasted. And it just smells absolutely incredible. All right, so we're gonna put some seasonings in here now. The recipe called for two tablespoons of parsley. So we're gonna put that in. And then we have a quarter teaspoon each of oregano and basil. That basil smells good. All right. So we're gonna give that a quick, quick stir just to incorporate those seasonings in there. Okay. Now I'm gonna turn this down. We're gonna go back to our egg mixture now. So we've got the two eggs in there. Those are beat up really well. And we're going to add to that eight ounces of mozzarella cheese. This is a 16 ounce bag, so I'm using half of it. And this is actually the creamy melt. So it's the mozzarella that has just a little bit of cream cheese in it to get it nice and melted. So we're just gonna give that a stir. And we're gonna add it to the zucchini. And we're just gonna mix that around a little bit to incorporate it. I have my oven preheated to 375 also. All right, that looks really good. So that's what it looks like. Everything's all coated in the egg. So we're gonna go ahead and pour this into our crescent crust. All right, so that's what we've got so far. That looks really good. It smells really good too. So I, the recipe did not say to do this, but I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit more cheese on top. All right, there we go. That's going in the 375 degree oven for about 20 minutes. So when that's done, I'll come back and we'll check it out together. Let's get it in the oven. Set my timer for 20 minutes. I'll be right back. Hang tight. Timer went off. Let's take it out and see how it looks. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that. Guys, isn't that beautiful? And it's nice and set in the center. That's what you want. I think that is absolutely stunning. Rhonda, I am so impressed with that. It smells so good. All right, I'm gonna let it sit for just a few minutes and cool off a little bit, and then I'll come back and we'll cut a piece out. This is gonna be my supper. So I'll be right back and we'll give it a taste. Hang tight. All right, guys. I have dipped a piece out and I'll tell you, I had a neighbor stop by that brought me some eggs, Miss Val. She shares her chicken eggs with me and her duck eggs too. Um, and so I gave her a piece and oh my gosh, it smells so good. I cannot wait to taste this. I'm gonna get a little bit of this crust too. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it smells so good. Thank you Lord for this food and for Rhonda, amen. Oh my goodness, Rhonda, 
Oh my gosh, that's delicious. I'll tell you a funny story. Years ago, in this same house, my in-laws used to live here. We were here visiting. My father-in-law was sitting at this table right here in front of me. And a buddy of his was sitting at the table with him. And Mama, my mother-in-law, Mama and I had made a pie. I can't remember what kind of pie it was, but I said, Larry, would you like a piece of pie? And he said, Tabby, there's only two kinds of pie I like. And I said, okay. I didn't know if it was gonna be the kind I made. Very serious face. He said, I like hot pie and cold pie. <laughs> so he got a piece of pie that night. I'll tell you right now, this pie, it is absolutely delicious. It is a savory pie, but I'm telling you guys, the flavors, oh my word. You're gonna love it. It's a 10 out of 10 for me. There's not a thing I would change. Absolutely delicious. Rhonda, thank you so, so much for sharing this recipe with us. I sure hope you guys make it. Make it in a pie pan, make it in a rectangle pan. Just make it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it is really, really good. All right, that's it for this video. I sure appreciate you guys coming into the kitchen with me. And I hope you get into your kitchen and make yourself a Italian zucchini pie because you're gonna absolutely love it. Remember, if you're watching on Facebook that you like and comment, share this video around and you will find the link to the recipe in the comments. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you like and comment also. Make sure you click that subscribe button and the notification bell all so you never miss a video and you will find a link to the recipe in the description. So if you click more right underneath the video, You'll see the full description and you'll see a link to print the recipe. While you're on the website, make sure you sign up for my free newsletter, also tidbits from In the Kitchen with Tabby. Guys, I love you so much. Remember, God loves you even more than I do. Remember that he is the unseen guest at every dinner table and the silent listener at every conversation. So just make sure those words coming out of your mouth are pure and sweet like honey, that you're lifting each other up, loving on each other, shining your light bright, because that's what we're called to do. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.